welcome back. You're watching Newsmaker Live with me, Kendall Burton. Our guest this evening, Margaret Monplezy and Rene Demise of the St. Lucia Manufacturers Association. We're talking about the upcoming quality awards as well as some of the other issues affecting manufacturing. Uh, before the break, we were talking about um, raw materials. Mm -hmm. um, earlier on in the program, you mentioned the rising cost of raw materials as opposed to um, the customer's want or need for quality products at re more reasonable prices. How do you strike the balance between the two? <laughs> it's a very delicate balance. Mm -hmm. um, to, you know, and raw materials, what we're finding is, um, you know, costs are increasing. You mentioned earlier the shipping cost. Mm -hmm. um, for example, we bring in bottles. Um, we do recycle. We've really promoted recycling a lot mm -hmm. of our bottles, but we have to bring in bottles really for our export market. And uh, every single year, there's been an increase in the in, in prices of bottles, a 3% increase. Um, we're getting a lot of the ingredients, shipping, even, you know, the shipping costs have gone up. The, every single year you're getting that um, certain costs are going up. And uh, it is translating overall. Plus, your, st your staff need increases. They're mm -hmm. out there mm -hmm. asking, I mean, cost of living, you know, they've been right. impacted by cost of living. Mm -hmm. you, they're nego you, have, you have to negotiate with your unions and you have to give increases as well. And all of these costs are just mm -hmm. coming on you at all times, and it is always trying to balance it off. Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, the price you sell, you're limited by what your competition sells for. Mm -hmm. You can't go and price your product so high that um, nobody could afford it, or, or the competition is much lower than you. Mm -hmm. So you have to remain competitive, and it therefore requ requires us in the manufacturing industry to be very creative mm -hmm. um, in how we go about, you know, access sourcing raw materials, purchasing. We have a, a, a quite we have some girls at our office that are pretty good at it, mm -hmm. and they have to go out there and try to find the best possible prices that they that they can find, and just keep on top of it. Look at what your volumes are to get the best prices. Sometimes you prepay. Very often we end up prepaying or you book your ship, you book goods in advance, a whole year's yeah. supply, mm -hmm. just so that you can get Keep the best prices, are, yeah. just to control cost. It is. Uh, and I mean, remember, we are a, there to profit. It is our single biggest challenge. Yes, and okay. we are there to profit. That's the, whole, that's the whole objective of a business. We run businesses for profit. Mm -hmm. And one of the challenges, too, is you, we have to be, apart from escalating costs, and now raw materials are coming, up, coming out from much further. You have to be going into the Asian countries, etc., which is so far away from us. Okay, we'll ask you just hold that thought for yeah. a second. We have a call. Let's take the call. Okay. okay. Good evening, you're on here. Thanks for holding. Hi. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. I just want to point out a question to either Margaret or Rennie. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I know prior to the implementation of VAT, mm -hmm. um, manufacturers were not paying any duties at the port. Rather, they were paying consumption tax right. after they, they sold the, the goods. Mm -hmm. But now that this has changed in that they have to pay the VAT at the port, obviously this has a serious impact on cash flow, their working capital. Absolutely. Is there anything the Manufacturing Association is doing to actually um, lobby with government to change that? Because as you know, your, your, your sales is your vanity, your profit is your sanity, yeah. your passion <laughs> is your reality. And yeah. this is really what is going to affect the manufacturers in St. Lucia. Because yes. I, I, companies don't, don't go down because of not making profit. It's because they don't have the cash flow. That's right. To meet. Now, if you're just a local manufacturing company and you're not a regional company that has the backup, the mm -hmm. cash flow backup, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. this yeah. can be a serious um, strain on the business. Mm, now I know Barbados, it doesn't happen in Barbados. Yes. That's yes. why in Barbados the manufacturers are actually in a better position. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's yes. thriving a little bit there mm, despite better. the economic challenges there. Yes. So I'm just asking, is there any plans for government have the manufacturers association well. <laughs> lobby with the government to, to, to change this? Yes, we've been lobbying uh, hard and fast oh, um, yes. for this mm -hmm. um, because, yes, this has certainly impacted many of our manufacturers. Um, you know, prior to the implementation of that, yes. we paid consumption tax once the goods were sold. Yes. Now you're having... On you're, the back you're, end. You're, you're yeah. bringing in raw materials. You haven't... Um, you have to pay tax. You mm -hmm. haven't made the product. Mm -hmm. You haven't sold your product. You know you have don't even have a finished yeah. product, but you're having to add add this additional fifteen percent cost. That um, it's a well, cost. Uh, it's it's cash flow. It's your cash that you that have to pay it. out. You have to find and pay out. 
um, before you can even act, get your raw material. So that's a challenge for us. Plus, it's added in an extra step in terms of exports, mm -hmm. where now customs has to come because now you're applying for a refund on that VAT. Mm -hmm. When you're exporting those goods, customs now has to come and supervise every single shipment that you you put out. Um, and it is so it, it's added um, additional time to do mm -hmm. in exports and a bit more bureau and more bureaucracy which to the export cost, process, which is, a cost, which is yes, which is again a cost. a cost, and you know you, you're looking at several people. levels of a cost. You're looking at the fact that you have to bring in raw materials in order to get it at a particular price. You have to bring in volumes. Mm -hmm. Now that volumes means that it it has a, a, a certain type of value. Now you're not going to be using these products or the, all of this this complete all of this shipment of raw materials, and maybe it, it will take you six months, three to six well months. Well, I did say sometimes you buy for a year to get the benefit right. of a good the best price. price. <laughs> and then so you have that to face, and then when you have to come up front, you may not have the cash in hand, so you may have to go to your bank. When you go to your bank, you have to pay interest. You probably have to pay a high interest because you need, you know, uh, it depends on what you can negotiate. So in actual fact, your costs have just escalated. Now, uh, that's, that's at the front end. Now, when you come to the back end, now, when you want to get that refund, fund one more time now you have to go through the process of this customs and this regulatory pre, um, pro which 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 of course adds extra time and extra cost because mm -hmm. you have to pay for the services of customs you don't get it free so I mean um, the signature manufacturers association have been trying to lobby yep. we've tried we to make been. all sorts of su suggestions and I know that um, um, Margaret was part of uh, the, the, the manufacturers associations um, team yeah. that, uh, who spoke to um, the Prime Minister recently mm -hmm. at an event and I know that that, that matter was brought up. Mm -hmm. Well, we've spoken, to the, we've spoken to a number of um, we Ministry of Commerce, we've spoken to a number of agencies within government as well. Mm -hmm. So yes. it is something that we are lobbying for and we're working very hard towards because it is impacting manufacturers and we're hoping that um, something comes out of it. Yeah. And so we are not seeing any new entrants. Obviously, mm -hmm. this is creating a, pa a, a challenge for, a, for, for new entrants into the, in, into the marketplace. And you, you, we have to consider that we have to look at the history of what is happening, even around us. Look what is happening in the, the good old USA. Mm -hmm. um, when you consider that in, in, in Obama's um, State of the Union address, there is an interest in developing and restarting the whole idea of building capacity in the U.S. through um, making sure that jobs return to the U.S. and I'm sure much much of it would be in manufacturing because that this is the, 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 the sector that hires the most people. So we have to try to maintain, if we have to follow in you know the example of those that are bigger and better than us, we have to realize that we, we need new entrants and we cannot be scaring people when they look at the cost. So so we are trying our best to lobby government on on on, an, on a matter of this like this, and I think that we hope that um, it's it's Something falling on, on listening ears. Mm -hmm. yeah, you said earlier it was a balancing act. It sounds more like a juggling act. <laughs> <laughs> You've been conf confronted from, from so many different yes. directions. Yes. Talking yes. about costs and, mm -hmm. and speed, dealing with customers who want it and want it now, want good yes. quality. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then the technology gives them access to yes. those goods overseas that can mm -hmm. get, you know, yes. almost instantaneously. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I want to talk about uh, a suggestion which was made by the political leader of the United Workers Party earlier this week, mm -hmm. um, he suggested that perhaps you would achieve more success in dealing with VAT and other issues affecting manufacturing and business generally mm -hmm. if a, you moved away from having all these um, small organizations, mm -hmm. the SLISBAS and the Manufacturers Association, Chambers of Commerce, mm -hmm. and consolidated and under one umbrella organization. You spoke earlier about the, the strength in numbers. Does that apply in that case? Well, in this case, it is, it, um, we have very specific needs. Mm -hmm. Each sector has very specific needs. Manufacturers have needs that are not necessarily um, the same as the distributive trade, mm -hmm. okay? And uh, so as smaller groups, because we're, we're much smaller than the, um, for example, like the Chamber of Commerce. The mm -hmm. Chamber of Commerce I learned recently was actually started by farmers mm -hmm. who wanted to um, understand business and get out into business. And um, then it expanded into industry, um, and so it became the Chamber of Commerce, Industry and Agriculture. But you have, as other sectors of, you know, have come up, 
um, their needs may not necessarily have been addressed in the way that required because you have such a wide cross section. Mm -hmm. So it, it is absolutely necessary that you have these the, 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 the other groupings that mm -hmm. address the specific needs. Manufacturers have very specific needs to deal mm -hmm. with, um, exports especially, um, technology like we spoke mm -hmm. about, productivity. Mm -hmm. Productivity I guess is common to everybody. Mm -hmm. the, the, um, um, commercial sector will be dealing a lot with imports yes. um, and you know the, the being able to bring in their goods and what not and service their customers it's just th th these two needs yes. are not necessarily right. the, same. Um, yeah. the same at all times yes. yeah. and um, you have the smaller businesses yes. if the, 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 the larger businesses have specific needs but smaller businesses mm -hmm. the, the requirements that, that they have will be very specific so I think there is a place for all of these little organizations yeah, because yeah. you look after the specific needs of your or the people in your group mm -hmm. what we do have and has been very active is the business council mm -hmm. um, that we recently um, you know have come together active. and they've been around for a few years like, I'm not sure how many years but the business council is made up of all these groupings now mm -hmm. where they now are having regular meetings where they discuss the issues that they have in common mm -hmm. and even where there are issues where we don't um, necessarily agree with each other at least there's a dialogue mm -hmm. and you can understand each other's positions mm -hmm. and um, try to come to some kind of consensus mm -hmm. so because the, spe the, the different groupings um, all our interests are not necessarily the same and our requirements are very specific and we yes. each have a role to play in in this country and developing St. Lucia. So everybody has, you know, has, has a part to play. Absolutely. And the thing about it is that in the case of manufacturing, you know, it requires a, a, a certain type of resolve, a certain nurturing, a certain massaging, mm -hmm. a certain assistance, which may get lost if you if you get involved with a, this big umbrella organization, and you do not you you do not take care of these specific needs. We uh, manufacturing it involves a number of people. It, it it it's just so very specific for what we do that it requires people the people who represent us to be aware and to know and and act quickly. Perhaps if you belong to a bigger I'm not saying that if it could work admir and, and, and be as effective, well, great. Mm -hmm. But um, if, if it requires, that's why we had to have a manufacturer's association. That's why we yeah. started in the first place. Yeah. And uh, that's why it has, it has now been around for about 14 years. Mm -hmm. I think if it didn't have a place, it might have got merged. Or, but it, kept, it keeps getting stronger and stronger because we need it. And each organization is important and they have a role to play. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, many of our companies... Um, are part of all the various organizations because different aspects of our business um, require different support. Mm -hmm. So you would be part, but um, to say to put them all as one, uh, specific interests would be lost. I think it's very necessary to have the specific groups. I think. Mm -hmm. Staying along the same line of mergers and <laughs> consolidation, um, all the challenges that you face in the manufacturing sector, the economic challenges um, compounding those, um, are we more likely to see mergers and acquisitions taking place rather than businesses folding up altogether? Um, that's a, that's a that's a difficult one um, to see. I think where companies uh, appear to have a good where they have good products, but maybe don't necessarily have the capital and the ability to grow, may find themselves um, mm. being taken over by larger larger organizations, um, larger uh, companies. Um, but in manufacturing, it's a, it's a lot more difficult. It's mm. not as easy to pick up your, it's your not, plant. It's not. Um, <laughs> and you require a lot of investment to be able to grow. And yeah. so, oh, yes. Um, oh, yes. And where people don't, if you don't invest in improving and upgrading and constantly, because you can't stand still, yes. um, then you they will fall by the wayside. Um, in, you know, uh, that's just a um, fact of business. So it's the way it is. It's but I'm not is. necessarily sure. I can't say that. We haven't really mm -hmm. seen mm -hmm. the, the, the type of acquisitions that we're seeing um, abroad, you know, with other, yeah. mm -hmm. other companies mm -hmm. um, in the manufacturing sector. I yes. think it's difficult because if you look at uh, manufacturing, it, it first starts with a vision. 
And very often it's the passion of an individual mm -hmm. or group of individuals who come together and decide, listen, I, I, I would like to produce this. And then when they start producing, they get all passionate about it and they, put, and they go on to do mm -hmm. other things. And so I, I don't know how easy it is to, except if you could sell that passion to somebody else. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know how easy it is to, um, it, uh, to continue to be bought over because perhaps, you know, if you can merge your interests together, mm -hmm. I mean, perhaps it uh, is possible, mm -hmm. but I don't know. It, well, it I'm aware of one of our large members, um, I th they've gone into a joint venture yes. with a Jamaican company yes. and they're looking to come out with a new product. Um, so I guess these are the... Yes, and we have seen some acquisition recently um, with one of our um, with one of our beverage companies as well. Yes. Mm -hmm. So yes. perhaps you know maybe that it, it is so providing the opportunity for it. Yeah, maybe the opportunity exists. But it's still early days. I, I'm not yes. going to sit and make a guess. <laughs> <laughs> not, at all, not at all. But we can still. But we know that they, they, it would require some tweaking, you know, and of 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 um, agendas, etc. But um, maybe, maybe there's a possibility. Who knows? You know, I mean, in in the case, like I mean, in my particular, in our particular case, um, we 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 were we were um, our company at the time. It was Sun Smart Beverages. We we were we were bought over by um, Wayne Fresh mm -hmm. under the name Sun Fresh. So, which was an acquisition, and it was a in a in a, in a well, it was some mm -hmm. sort of a, a buy in, a buy over, mm -hmm. and and we are and, and we at Sun Fresh, um, we are a, a subsidiary of. Win fresh with two other companies in the in the region. So, yes, perhaps you know you we may be working towards that goal, yeah. and we may see more of that happening mm -hmm. in the future. Yeah. Let's talk a little bit about Win Fresh um, mm -hmm. and the, the, the marriage of uh, manufacturing and agriculture. Yes. We go to the, the FAO is is um, offering support yes. in getting the agriculture sector back on its feet after the, the Christmas Eve trough. Yes. Um, and the Prime Minister, Minister of Agriculture, has spoken year after year about you know uh, strengthening um, the ties between agriculture and manufacturing um, we have a plant in in uh, for us, so I believe it is mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. experimenting you know with agro-processing um, I know at one point you were holding talks with them about possibly um, creating sobby for export mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. um, what's happening with that well I mean when fresh is committed to to the diversification of um, Agriculture, as you know, we mm -hmm. were strictly um, connected with the marketing of bananas, right. which we do so in the in the UK primarily and the other Caribbean islands. And but there was a move towards um, getting involved in agro processing, which mm -hmm. we uh, which we are working. Where I mean, the, the the whole idea of purchasing Sun Fresh was an idea of getting into the beverage industry and mm -hmm. with juices, etc., right. which is on the program. Um, we also um, have a company in Saint Vincent called Vinci Fresh who produces uh, marinades and sauces mm -hmm. and condiments and this we've had the opportunity of bringing these products to St. Lucia and they are on the road to gaining success mm -hmm. and of which we are very proud pepper jellies and mm -hmm. marinades and there are other things there are there are sauces and you know syrups cordials etc mm -hmm. so I mean this is the di diversification which is which is the plan now we have another plant in Grenada which will be positioning as well to get involved in in, in agri agro processing as well. Mm -hmm. So I think we we have um, you know we are working towards our mandate mm -hmm. of becoming um, becoming um, involved in in the in the whole agro processing pro pro processing for agriculture, and uh, I mean that's just I it's the way we are going, and and we're very proud to to be a part of that. Um, we too have a, have a project that uh, has actually been pretty successful um, we through the Ministry of St. Lucia Distillers. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Going through, um, we have a product called Zemos, which is a CMOS mm -hmm. and, and rum drink. And we export container loads of this product to Barbados. And it is through the pr farmers, um, CMOS farmers at Prale. They mm -hmm. make a special gel for us, which I think the Ministry of Agriculture was the one who facilitated the whole process. Mm -hmm. and. Um, taught them how to do it and now they supply us on an ongoing basis as we need we buy from these farmers who mm -hmm. process this who create this gel for us and we we export this product so yes you can have um, you know relationships with between agriculture and um, manufacturing which can be yeah. <laughs> which can be and quite it's successful along, it's coming along so I mean I recently yeah. attended a business forum of food um, business for, um, 
forum in Guyana, and it it was it was hosted by ICA, which is the International Institute for um, the Center for Agriculture. And what their aspiration was is to br to create that dialogue and conversation between the end user um, and people who 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 consume the agricultural products and the actual farmers. Mm -hmm. um, so you you build that sort of capacity, and so that you d the farmer can produce exactly what the say the, um, the hotel or maybe the the, right. the the supermarket requires, and they tell they explain what the specs are, mm -hmm. and they produce according to the specifications. And I have to say proudly that in St. Lucia, we are, we, we, um, it was one of the items that came on the agenda is the success of the CFL effort to build the capacity among farmers, farmers right. and to produce local goods. And mm -hmm. the reality is that in the end, we ought to see a, a reduction in our import bill, mm -hmm. because in our food import bill. Because as the farmers get nurtured into building, into producing the products that that, that the supermarkets want, it means that we don't have to import so much products from outside. Mm -hmm. So so in the rea the so CFL is already leading the way for the region. They actually made a, 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 a presentation at the at the business forum that I attended and that business forum had um, had people had like representative of the Atlantis Hotel in Barbie in Bahamas, mm -hmm. the other hotels in, in 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 Haiti and the other Caribbean islands, as well as agricultural organizations throughout the region. So it it shows you that even us in Saint Lucia, in, in our own special way, uh, are doing something towards this agro processing, mm -hmm. you know, and 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 building capacity in the farming industry and creating that um that um that these products that ca that we ourselves can cons consume. Mm -hmm. And do you think the buy local campaign has been successful? That solutions are um, sufficiently Okua and um, willing and open, I'm more open to, to I'm buying I'm not sure that there's a product. buy local campaign. campaign. We used to or try it there, there was one before. Uh, one has, yeah. it, has it worked? Many years. <laughs> I think, I think, I think it's that? built up some national pride. Mm -hmm. I think Juene Creole has also built up because you're seeing where people actually display and promote local products during mm -hmm. that time of year. Mm -hmm. I think I think so I think there's a greater awareness and it ha these you know these activities have done something to mm -hmm. create an awareness and an appreciation by St. Lucians of um, St. Lucian products. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, but, Absolutely. Uh, but there's no campaign ongoing at this point at the moment yeah. at the yeah. moment. Yeah. I know yeah. there was always an attempt to but the thing the thing is sometimes in order to get it to get you to get things to arrive at a place mm -hmm. S an event like June we all that's perfect mm -hmm. that's how you market mm -hmm. what has been produced locally and then of course you start looking for it in the shops so if you notice like things like cocoa sticks and so on years ago when you were growing up was never in the supermarket you could get cassava mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. could get cocoa yeah. sticks you can now actually buy um from the far so grouping you were speaking about earlier you could buy um, um products that th that has been peeled vacuum you know packed. and vacuum mm -hmm. packed etc in your supermarket which yeah. is what um which is the idea that we that that we would in, uh, in order to develop that same consuming what is produced locally mm -hmm. so there has been a i mean s a great attempt for this to happen and it's ongoing and it just ha we have to continue building and building capacity and more and more and more mm -hmm. and then eventually we will be consuming what we produce in san lucia and I imagine some of the reluctance had to do with um, issues about quality. So how closely yeah, exactly. do you work with the Initial Bureau of Standards now? Oh, we work very closely with them mm -hmm. because um, we interacted with the Solution Bureau of Standards. They helped us mm -hmm. develop our quality standards right. mm -hmm. that we are using to um, as the assessment criteria mm -hmm. for the for our quality awards. Mm -hmm. So we work very closely with the. Bureau. Absolutely, and us at Winfresh, we also have uh, the standards mark which is um, the St. Lucia standards mark mm -hmm. on our H2O water. Mm -hmm. So, and these, that, um, the criteria for obtaining this mark was built on international standards or that set by the St. Lucia Bureau of Standards. So, um, in fact, we recently had an audit at the plant. This is our, our, our on, we have ongoing audits to ensure that we, we, we um, when we keep the markets viable and, and that we are producing the products under the best uh, international quality standards. So we definitely work closely um, with the Bureau of Standards and the Manufacturers Association. In develop, like we said, in developing the the awards, it was all done in association with the mm -hmm. Central Bureau of Standards. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, we were talking about earlier the the issues of um, technology automation and sort of thing. Does that in any way impact on productivity? Um, is productivity an issue for members of the Manufacturers Association? 
absolutely um what is the nature of the business making yes yeah. in, um, the nature because you you have to you have to produce at minimum cost best quality at the minimum cost possible mm -hmm. um, productivity is a, a, a key performance indicator for most manufacturing um, so you would be measuring your productivity because right. as you improve um, you strengthen your company so obviously yes um, productivity is key is, is, is an essential issue how much more can you produce mm -hmm. um, of the of good quality mm -hmm. at a quicker rate, you know. Um. I want to remind the viewers, the lines are open. You can call <laughs> at any point if you have any questions, any comments. Um, you can free to join the I conversation. Guess manufacturing is boring tonight. <laughs> <laughs> it's sexy enough. Uh, but we're talking about the um, the quality awards um, coming up on March 8th. Um, that's going to be held at the Sandals House. Sandals House in Hotel, yeah. yeah. Um, Walk us through again the categories that are involved um, in the manufacturing. So you mentioned that there were three levels, the gold, the platinum, and the diamond. And the diamond. Um, and there were six categories, um, if my yes. memory serves me correctly. Yes, you have leadership. Leadership, human resource you have development. implementation of standards and best practices, product and customer service quality. Mm -hmm. um, we mentioned marketing, right. human resource, and social responsibility. And then we have a seventh. Well, that's which is the eco, the eco manufacturing, eco manufacturing, which is the one. new one. Yes, mm -hmm. that's yes. the new one. <laughs> We've added one. that one this year. Eco yes. manufacturing, the one. Customer service. I know that's, that's, that, that, that may not be, um, well, I shouldn't say it may not be. Obviously, it's, it it's is only always a factor, believe yeah. me. It is. Um, it and is you hear so factor. many complaints about customer yes. service. And um, we talked about um, national pride. Now, so do you think all of those things are connected? Abs of yes. course they are. They are, they are, they are. They are. How, do we, how do we address them? The matter of customer service. Well, mm -hmm. I mean, it's training, it's education, mm -hmm. it's um, it's um, you have to train your staff continuously, and to for them to understand that even you, as an individual that works in the company, mm -hmm. is an internal customer. There are levels of customers, right. and I think that you, you, you uh, other workers, your colleagues, your team workers, they're internal customers, and they have a right to the information. They have a right to know what's going on in the company, mm -hmm. what are their goals, their aspirations, the missions of the company, objectives. They need to have the buy-in they, mm -hmm. they're the mm -hmm. one they start it starts with them and that's at all levels and every different position in the company mm -hmm. you know um, must be trained to learn how to serve each other and then serve the clients outside and that that's key how well how how timely you deliver how well you treat your customer how friendly you are how can you manage even when there's a mistake mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. know it has it all has to deal with your ability to talk to people to deal with people and we were saying recently that I don't know if you are, you agree with that Margaret but it's really a talent you know your one's ability to go out there and <laughs> and, 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 go and and do that and and we have but we but training always makes a big difference but if you have a passion for what you're doing mm. I think it uh, makes it easier <laughs> but customer service is all encompassing yes, we is. tend to think only in terms of interaction between people and trying to sell an item or, mm. or, or, or give a service right. but it's also about the quality of the product you give because yeah. it, that is all part of customer service mm -hmm. if you give a poor quality product you're not providing good quality um, customer service it's not at all, no. um, so you it's meeting the customers needs mm -hmm. um, by ensuring that you have the right product in the right sizes mm -hmm. to the right quality um, deliver just how that customer wants it um, right. in the way they want it um, and it's, so and it's, it's all, all different and it's all unique this person might want something in one way somebody else wants it packaged another way somebody mm -hmm. else wants it delivered in a particular place somebody may want to uh, have a different uh, it's just a matter of knowing the clients knowing exactly what they want mm -hmm. responding to their needs and being and, and, and making them always feel the most important person out there now we're getting uh, set for independence in a few days do you have any specific activities planned around independence as, as an association um, we have well, the awards yeah, are part, part of, of the independence yeah. activities. Okay. That's why it's 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 celebrating local mm -hmm. um, and, and you know and our achievements as as local companies mm -hmm. producing local items. But do you feel that the private sector generally, not just the manufacturers association, mm -hmm. is involved enough in independence? I mean, I heard a comment um, last week that you pay more attention to Valentine's Day and these things. You mm -hmm. see at Christmas, you see the the, the stores decorated, you know, the businesses, you know. But independence comes around and. Nothing well, not happened. necessarily. I mean, I, I'm you seeing it. If you mm -hmm. go out there, the companies are decorating their buildings. Mm -hmm. um, they are making an effort, and 
um, I've seen in the supermarkets the local products um, facing, you know, mm -hmm. having Highlighted. prominent um, positions, display positions. Mm -hmm. So I think, I, I don't think that's a totally fair statement. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, obviously, the business sector has to respond to the customers. Right. Maybe at Valentine's Day, people do go out and they buy all the, the gifts mm -hmm. and the chocolates yes. and whatnot. And, y and you're competing with, with other business places. So right. you're going to have to do what you have to do to make sure that... Um, you get that customer in and if it means decorating your store or having a promotion or doing these things you're going to have to do it where i'm not necessarily sure that nobody goes out and buys a gift at um independence yes, and give yes. each other <laughs> gifts and mm, so that yes, level of spending and so may not yeah. necessarily can remember they have to operate right. a business so mm -hmm. in fairness to people mm -hmm. i mean this independence would be more about national pride mm -hmm. and i do believe i i mean i think there's been all this discussion about the flags mm -hmm. and you see a proliferation of flags yeah. around yeah. st lucia mm -hmm. and i think it's people ha expressing their pride and in, in their country mm -hmm. um, they're doing it in their own way mm -hmm. <laughs> but that's mm -hmm. what it is yeah. an expression of national pride and I think I think there's an awareness and there is a commitment so um, I would say um, be kind to the business places <laughs> <laughs> we have another call good evening you're on the air hi good evening hi, good evening I have a question for your guest mm -hmm. how do they go about auditing the manufacturers because they spoke a lot about quality mm -hmm. and I'm assuming that somebody has to ensure and verify what quality the manufacturers have in place. Are you speaking in, in general terms or in terms of the quality, quality awards? Yes, yes. Which ones? All of them because yeah. you're talking about different category of judging. You said diamond, platinum, gold. So somebody should be going out there to do some sort of audit or some check mm -hmm. to verify that what the manufacturers are doing meet a certain standard. So I'm just asking, what is their process? Okay. Thank you very much. I, yeah, yeah, I, think um, I, I suspect yeah. she joined the program that she was asking yes, about the process involved that, yeah. in mm -hmm. verifying um, yeah. that the manufacturers were competing for the gold, platinum, or diamond mm. awards okay. um, that they're adhering to certain standards. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, yes, we, we, did, um, we did indicate earlier that um, an, uh, we have hired um, auditors who are qualified and they are going into the business places and do conducting very thorough audits mm -hmm. um, to assess the manufacturers and out of the, the audit, the, the manufacturer at the, on the evening will find out where they rate, obviously, and mm -hmm. receive an, a, a, a report mm -hmm. showing them where, they where we've performed well and where we have weak areas that we need to address so that come next awards will be even better. Yeah. <laughs> well, th that's what makes us very proud as the, at the St. Lucia Manufacturers Association of that awards program mm -hmm. because it's, it's third-party verified. Um, it's not, um, you, you, the companies are audited mm -hmm. by a professional auditor and, and, and these audits are presented to a group of, a team of judges. Yeah. We have, um, we have um, um, regional judges, um, we have the, the company called CAS, CAS Incorporated out of, out of Barbados who runs a consultant, a professional consultant, a, a standards consultant he is. And what the, the when the auditor, exa she will, the material, uh, the criteria for each and completed application forms will be submitted to the judges and the judges will make the final decisions. Yeah. And these judges, there's one international, but there's also judges um, from a group, a local group in St. Lucia as well, but mm -hmm. headed by a foreign judge. Mm -hmm. And so again, making the situation even more foolproof. Yeah. And so, and, and, and this will be co highly confidential, kept mm -hmm. in the strictest of confidence. And except when you get the results of your audit, you will not know except on the night who has won and what yeah. so it, it is a third party verification that confirms the the relevance of the program mm -hmm. of, of such a program and of which we are very proud of because it's it is it's the only one of its kind so far and, and that's one of the the the, uh, the the presentations that we hope to make to the regional manufacturers to let them know because we intend to invite them um, mm -hmm. after the meeting on the 7th we intend to invite them on the 8th Mm -hmm. of of March to celebrate with us and to let them see what we have done so far in St. Lucia. And maybe they may be able to give us some comments about it because they may be able to tell us what goes on in their country. Mm -hmm. And from what we understand from our regional judge, not, not, it's not happening, mm -hmm. similar to, to ours. So we, we, I must say we have led the way and we have to 
thank very much um, our president, oh, Paula definitely. Cauldron, <laughs> and also our, at the time, first vice pre president, Dr. Alison Plummer, who, because of her association with the Bureau of Standards, she was very anxious to put this, to implement this um, this awards program, and mm. it, it, it came it came under her stewardship with the, and, and the support of the of, of the, the, then, the, the then president, Paula Cauldron, who's still the president for the moment. And the process is not just for the awards. The businesses uh, can use those uh, evaluations to improve for their capacity processes. Building. Oh, yes. Yeah. Capacity I mean, building, yeah. Yes. So the mm -hmm. consumer is guaranteed of a, a certain quality yes. of product. Yes. Um, the response to the awards, the, I know you had your um, sponsor's presentation. Yes, um, we had a today. check presentation so today. What's the response been like? Very good. I mean, we had, uh, we, we, I mean, we had, I can name some of the sponsors, um, Lucilex, Lasper, we had our uh, our Sanusha Distillers, Baron, mm -hmm. Winwood and Lewis Brewery. Some of our members have also right. sponsored as well, um, in Best and Lucia. And um, so we're looking at um, a, a range of sponsors. And, and of course, our main sponsor is the Bank of St. Lucia. And um, that's ECFH. They're the ones, they're, they're, the, they're, they're um, the main sponsor for the event. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Final mm -hmm. words? We just want to encourage all manufacturers who haven't come on board yet to mm -hmm. please come on board. Mm -hmm. um, if you if you don't want to do it this year, at least come attend the dinner with us mm -hmm. and um, see what we do and how we can help you. We'll be happy to, to chat with you and we encourage all manufacturers to come on board and take part. Sister yes, I'm very proud to be um, a member and also a member of the executive of the, Ma the Senusha Manufacturers Association. Mm -hmm. We want to invite all manufacturers to join and to be a part of the organization. Some companies are small and we have considered a, 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 like an associate membership um, situation mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. a smaller company can can join the Manufacturers Association and pay a specific negotiated fee. Mm -hmm. So we are trying to widen the net. We are trying to encompass all as much as many members so that we can be, as we said, power in numbers. And we, we definitely want to invite all the manufacturers, as many as possible, as many as Sanders Halsen <laughs> can hold <laughs> can <I come>, <laughs> yeah, to, to the awards and, 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 and be a part of it. And let's work towards building national pride in St. Lucia. And that's what we want. People to be proud of what we do because we're producing products on the, that, are, that are accepted that are on the international standards. Yeah. Henry, thank you very much for allowing us to come on your show Thanks for coming. and share. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I appreciate you. you spending the last 90 minutes with us and thank you for viewing. Um, our guest this evening, Margaret Monplezi, first Vice President of the St. Lucia Manufacturers Association, along with Rene de Myers, the Secretary of the St. Lucia Manufacturers Association, speaking about the upcoming Quality Awards that's happening on March 8th at the Sandals Halcyon. Once again, thank you ladies for being with us and thanks for watching. See you next week. <laughs>